Memories are funny things, aren't they? They come and go. We remember them when somebody mentions something or we smell a particular smell. We look at photographs. Memories can be full of joy, as well as memories that bring up anger, sadness, grief, resolved issues and unresolved issues, shame, the whole gamut of human feelings. I suppose that's why we have our emails that haven't been deleted right away because they remind us of something or we haven't looked at them yet or why we have piles of information in this information overload because it's just a lot to take in all the time. We post on Facebook to get support. Pictures on Snapchat, Pinterest, Instagram, so we get, can get validation about who we are. But when it comes to getting validation of who we are, we need to start at the source. And the source is our stories. Listening to who we are. Now, it doesn't take you becoming a fancy writer. It means recording you talking with the intention of listening to it, playing it back over and over and over again, asking yourselves questions or utilizing photographs to stimulate your memory. But don't worry about this. This is what I'm all about. I am so excited to be here. My name is Beth, Beth Lord. I'm in my late 50s. I have been an occupational therapist, and I've had my own companies. I'm still practicing that with two private clients, one who has a brain injury and the other one who has cerebral palsy. And then I'm also a Feldenkrais practitioner, which is a movement specialist. I've been in corporate sales as a pharmaceutical rep, and that was wonderful engaging with doctors and nurse physician assistants, practitioners, medical assistants, earning a great deal of money for just basically listening to these people and giving them samples But that industry was changing, and we were bought by another company. And in March of 2011, I was fired in an awful, humiliating, shameful way. I took all my retirement money, which was $400,000 plus, to start on this path of writing for myself, I walked the Camino de Santiago three times and then became a hospitalera, volunteering on the Camino for two weeks. I've used endless amounts of credit cards to get to this point where I feel grateful, honored, and satisfied that I can offer you an opportunity to turn your stories into books. I am thrilled to be here. And I will show in my blogs, and as you get to know me, that my heart is quite sincere and open. And I'm so grateful I was everything I was in the past. So I am very clear as your mentor, coach, writer and transcriber of your stories, editor, and just a support person for knowing that the stories you have lived, the stories you're collecting from other people, are just amazing. It is your life legacy you are leaving to all of us. Thank you very much, and I do look forward to getting to know you, and I am so excited. I am organized, ready for you.